What's up YouTube, Chaos Prime here and today we're going to be talking about a new questline, Champions of Tarsis. Yes, it's a new questline much like Champions of Valor which requires a huge amount of grind for 100 vault events, 25 strongholds and so forth. Well this one requires you to get 50,000 reputation per faction in order to unlock the gold colour. So how do you unlock this? First you need to get to faction rank 3. That is your first objective and not just for one faction, you need to get to faction rank 3 for all three objectives, complete their quest lines, and then, once you've done that, the quest line for Champions of Tarsus will become available. Once this becomes available, at that point you start working towards it. Now 50k is a lot of reputation, you need basically 150,000. Certain quest lines will be engineered towards certain factions, targeting certain factions for their quest line events will probably be the best way to do this, but free play is also another fantastic way to do this. As a side note, not only do you get the gold colour, you also unlock a host of masterwork blueprints and these are pretty much la creme de crop. These are the ones that you want to go for as well, so you can start creating these and re-rolling them to get that perfect roll. So it is a two prong thing here, but the good thing about this quest is that everything you do, be it free play, quick mission, contracts, agent missions, everything you do will benefit towards this goal. It may not always benefit all three factions, it may benefit one faction, but you will always be working towards the goal of 50,000. Do I believe 50,000 is a bit too high? Maybe, but at the same time, anyone you see having this gold shader, you're gonna know has put a lot of time and effort in and they've earned the right to use it. Now I'm aware there are a bunch of people around going to Bioware and requesting Bioware to actually put this shader on sale, I'm totally against this, I really am against this. I think what Bioware did here is a good thing and I think adding a prestigious colour that people want to go for and invest time in and actually get to make them stand out from the rest is a really good thing. If you want this, it doesn't cost you any money, all it costs you is your time. You go into the world, play free play, play missions and just invest your time into getting faction rewards. Now yes, this quest is going to take a very very long time and I do mean a very long time. I'm hearing silly numbers out there like 5, 6, 7, 800 hours. In all honesty, with new quests coming with the expansions, I can see us gaining more XP and more faction points so I do believe that number is going to cut down drastically if, if at any point it is true with those numbers, which I'm not saying they are, I'm just regurgitating the numbers that are being posted around the internet. At the same time, I do believe quests like this that have a purpose, that give you a reason to sign in and go for things if it interests you is always a good thing. In fact, I would wish that Bioware took it one step further and actually introduced a Javelin specific relic weapon. Not a legendary weapon, but an actual relic weapon, you know the types that you see in proper MMOs. Like the relic weapons in say Final Fantasy XIV that, that you work your ass off to go and collect the latest ones from Eureka. It took a long time to build and they are the best in slot. I'm not saying to make these relic weapons the absolute be all and best all and completely negate the other weapons, but it is something that you could work towards and maybe have the ability with these relic weapons to change one or two inscriptions with a cost factor value to it. So you can actually start to tinker around with it a little bit and get it perfect for the build you want. They could make it one weapon, but at the same time, I like this sort of incentive, so giving us the champions of Tarsis and giving us a gold shader as well as the blueprints behind it, in one sense I think the 50k reputation is actually okay, because now I have something to grind for. Do I want the gold shader? Absolutely. Will I be going for it? Absolutely. Do I think everyone else should go for it? Absolutely. And even if you're not specifically going for it, everything you do will be going towards it. So it's not like you're not working on this in the background. Well, that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this video. I think Bioware did a good job with this. Yes, it's going to be a grind. Yes, it's going to take long. Yes, it's going to take time. But if you see a Javelin out there tomorrow and they have gold all over them, and no, they're not going to have it tomorrow, but I'm just hypothetically speaking. If you see that, you know that they have worked for that shader and that deserves credit. So, you want to stand out? This is the quest for you. Get on it, get to it, and get grinding. Right guys, thank you for watching, and until next time, I'll